What a comeback we've seen in gold and silver this Friday as markets digest the much weaker jobs data released this morning. But could this relief rally be sustained? Joining us now is Kickle's senior analyst, Jim Wyckoff. Jim, thanks for being back with us. Hi, Daniela. Always nice to be with you and with our Kitco listeners and readers. Well, let's look at that movement in gold today, nearly $40 range today in the marketplace. Is this just a dead cat bounce here, Jim, or are the technicals showing a sustainable uptrend? Daniela, on Friday in both gold and silver markets, we scored bullish outside days up on the daily bar charts. That means the daily trading ranges for both gold and silver were higher for highs and lower for lows in the previous day's trading ranges. That's a bullish technical clue. We also saw both gold and silver markets close at weekly high closes on Friday. That's also a bullish clue that near-term bottoms are in place. However, uh, as I've said many times in my Kitco AM and PM reports, we need to see follow-through buying strength early right. next week to better confirm that uh, market bottoms are in place in both those markets. But indeed, uh, the near-term technical posture could be changing uh, from some, from significantly bearish to at least less bearish and, and maybe even a little bit friendly for, the, for those metals. So it's too early to get excited, Jim. But you know what's interesting? I've had analysts tell me it, it has really been the dollar that has weighed on gold. Some have said it is U.S. equities and others blame the looming rate hikes. What's your take, Jim, on the main factor dictating the gold market right now? It's frustrating, Daniela, and I'm sure it's frustrating for our uh, readers and listeners, especially the long-term uh, buy and hold type investors in gold. The one thing I will say is if, if you look at the longer term charts, uh, commodities are highly cyclical, especially gold. Uh, gold is in a, in a bust cycle right now that will turn into a boom cycle. And it is frustrating, and I don't have an answer for why gold has not seen some safe haven demand uh, in better fashion, given some of the things we've had going on here. Right. It has tended to act more like a raw commodity, uh, and we know that the raw commodity sector is in a, in a slump, in a bust cycle. Uh, the one thing I do know, and history shows this, is that uh, uh, bust cycles turn into boom cycles, and much quicker than anybody or than most people realize. And I think that that's going to happen with gold. We just we just don't know the exact timing yet. And what about silver, Jim? The metal up almost 5% today, but silver has an industrial component to its price. Do you see this hurting the metal as markets digest the jobs miss? Yeah, Danielle, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, it, it, I can see that, you know, uh, silver being a major industrial metal could be it could be a bit bearish uh, if, if the uh, certainly if the world economy continues to slow down. However, uh, futures markets are front runners, and I think uh, the, the cash markets tend to front run too. And uh, I suspect that when this raw commodity sector starts to turn to the upside, and it's going to be well before we see probably some significant world economic growth. That's just the way markets operate. Uh, they they kind of bet on the come. Uh, the, uh, the silver market's going to follow crude oil, the silver market's going to follow gold, and when those markets start to turn, I think uh, crude or silver will do the same. All right. Well, with the time we have left, Jim, let's get to your market readings for gold and silver this week. Danielle, I'm giving both gold and silver a Wyckoff's market rating of four. That's still in the bearish camp, but a, a market improvement from the last time we spoke uh, for uh December COMEX gold, we've got support at 11.20, resistance at 11.56.40. For December COMEX silver, we've got support at 14.36. That's Friday's low. Overhead resistance at 15.43.5. Good thoughts, Jim. Thanks so much for joining us and happy weekend. Thank you, Danielle. I can't wait till next time. Bye-bye. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you next week.